Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have three Marvel 9.8 comics you should be buying. So the first one up is a bit of a no-brainer, and I think it's a really good value in 9.8 comics right now. It's a uh, Miss Marvel number 18 in a 9.8. First full appearance of Mystique on this one. So certainly like a, a really big key issue. I uh, really like the cover on this one. Yeah, I think Miss Marvel's like looking really sexy on the cover. I would say a bit of a bummer, like Mystique's not on the cover. So, you know, that's really the only negative I would say about the cover. It's uh, Dave Cockrum on the cover art as well. So yeah, I do like a, a solid uh, Dave Cockrum cover. This one came out in 1978. So you'd expect it to probably look pretty great on the census. There's 138 9.8s in a blue label. So a one of 138 for a big key issue, I think is pretty fantastic. 7.2% the 9.8 ratio. So single digiter of all graded copies, only 7.2% of them are 9.8s. You do expect this to be pretty tough given it's a 1978 book, but that is pretty fantastic. So it looks great on the census. Uh, looking at some prices for a Miss Marvel 18 in a 9.8. Uh, recently, I'm not seeing too many sell on eBay actually, but uh, I did have a completed listing. I, I'm pretty sure this was from last year for $1,200. Uh, I did see a 9.6 sell recently on eBay in the last few weeks for $707. So you know what, I think the 9.8 in this one, probably going to be right around 1,100, sort of depending on how good the colors and the centering are. Maybe you get lucky, you get it closer to 1,000. Uh, you know what, I think this is such a good value, I'd be willing to pay up to 1,200 for like just a great centered one with great colors and everything like that. Uh, so you know what, if you're a big Mystique fan, like this is the one to get, but I think even if you're kind of looking for just good value investment grade 9.8s to, you know, consider, I think this one should be right at the top of your list. Like a great looking one in the 9.8 on the census. Big first appearance, great cover to enjoy, uh, you know, all around just about $1,000. That's seeming like a really good value for an investment grade 9.8 on a Miss Marvel number 18. Alrighty, next one is an Alpha Flight number 13 in a 9.8. This one's kind of easy to sort of overlook, but uh, it's a really great John Byrne Wolverine cover. And you got a John Byrne on the story cover and art on this one. But uh, super affordable in the 9.8 as well. So, you know, if you're a big Wolverine fan, maybe you're on a bit of a budget. I think this one is absolutely one to consider in a 9.8 for like a budget Wolverine comic book. There's a 66 9.8s in a blue label, 56.4%, the 9.8 ratio. And uh, you kind of see these ones sell in the sort of $70 to $80 range. You might, you know, even get into the 60s on this one. Like, I'm having a look on eBay right now. There's probably about three or four of these in a 9.8 on eBay right now. But I'm, I'm not really liking any of the centering on them. And I think, you know, given that this one's really affordable and, um, you know, it's not one that you absolutely have to target as like a great investment grade book. I think you could be really patient on this one and try to just get one that has really great centering. That would be my strategy on this one. But you know what, just as like I'm a Wolverine fan, I'm a John Byrne fan as well. If there was a nice centered one for like kind of 80 bucks on eBay, I probably would have purchased one just kind of doing the research for the video and kind of uh, targeting this one just in the last few weeks. So yeah, really cool Wolverine cover. Kind of looks like how Wolverine looks on um, uh, Uncanny X-Men 141. It's kind of got that similar look. So just great vibes out of this one. Super affordable in the 9.8. So I'm going to be on the lookout for like a really great centered one with great colors for that sort of $70 to $80. I think that's a, a pretty fantastic value for uh, Wolverine fans out there in the 9.8. Okay, and the last one is a really great, uh, you know, key issue to consider. Certainly if you're a big Jim Lee fan. It's an Alpha Flight number 51. This is Jim Lee's first uh, artwork at Marvel Comics. So uh, he's not on the cover art on this one, but kind of a pretty eye-appealing cover, I would say. Pretty collectible cover, but it's uh, interior art that uh, Jim Lee's on on this one. And uh, not too many of them on the census. Kind of surprised. Like, you kind of feel like, you know, there's a lot of Jim Lee fans out there. There'd probably be about two or three hundred of these on the census. But uh, actually, 69, 9.8s in a blue label. A one of 69 is pretty fantastic. 35.2%, the 9.8 ratio, which is not too bad for like a very not heavily graded book. Uh, you can't expect the ratios to be too low when the, you know, the books aren't heavily graded. So 35.2%, not too bad. And I uh, saw a recent sale for this one. There was two sales, I believe. Yeah, there were kind of, I, th I think, in February on eBay. And they went for the same price, $202.50, both in auctions. So I think that's basically a price target to aim for. Uh, if you're a Jim Lee fan, this one is just making so much sense. And yeah, to be honest, like all three of these, I've just 
kind of occurred to me like they're just great value and um, you know if I saw an Alpha Flight 51 pop up in Canada for about 200 bucks I probably would pull the trigger to be honest yeah if it was just looking great colors and centering and everything okay so uh, yeah three ideas three Marvel comics in a 9.8 that I think you know if you're a fan of these books in any way they make pretty much awesome buys right now I would say in a 9.8 all right team uh, thanks so much for watching though I'll see you on the next one if you're liking my videos, please subscribe and hit that bell, and I'll keep you updated on future content.